Hello, hello. It is Clara, Creative Clara, the Lazy Suburban Gardener, all things crochet and yarn and lots more. And my lovely trusty assistant is here. I was trying to record without him, but he wouldn't hear of that. And um, he is quite a fan of my new phone holder. So I just came to give you guys a little highlight of what I've been up to this week. Um, May 7th and 8th, 2022. This was the return of the in-person Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival at the Howard County Fairgrounds. So I went with some of my fiber friends, my crafty sisters on Sunday, on Mother's Day. So that was kind of a Mother's Day treat for us. Didn't do a lot of shopping. Um, <laughs> I convict myself before I go if I want to limit my yarn purchases. And I do that by um, looking at my yarn stash. So in addition to my A Creative Thread, acreativethread.com that I have and am selling. I have an excellent, excellent yarn stash. So, uh, some years I look at what I bought the year before that I haven't touched yet. So my yarn souvenirs because I haven't actually done anything with them. And yeah, that keeps me from spinning a little bit. Um, but yeah, I had a blast as always. Um, we kept a little distance from the animals since we didn't have the kids with us this year, but we did check them out as well. So that's always fun to watch, but they have this handy dandy vendor locator guide and the full book of everything. So these are pretty cool. You can Google Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival. They will mail one of these to you if you're interested in the different information, the different competitions. Um, one of my favorites is the sheep to shawl competition that they do. I love that because they go from beginning to end, sharing the sheep, make, you know, prepping the wool, spinning the wool, dye. I don't know if they dye, but they may. Um, and then they make something out of it. So sheep to shawl from the sheep all the way to a show or some type of similar um, item at the end for the contest. So I only picked up a few goodies. Somebody had hand sanitizer for a quarter and I left mine in the car. Um, it was very muddy this year. It's, it's, I feel like it always rains that weekend. It rained real hard on Saturday. We went on Sunday. Um, I got some cute pens and they were really cheap. Uh, this one says, Troublemaker. There we go. Come on. Of course, a couple balls of yarn with a crochet hook, a basket of yarn with hook and needles, and this adorable, adorable pen. So I will probably add that. This is my Rhinebeck, as it's affectionately known, my New York Sheep and Wool Festival. I was pregnant with my lovely assistant when I got this. So you see my awesome connection from a neighborhood fiber company, a few random pens. I think I have all of Gigi's pens or all of Gigi's pens that I could find. We knit two. That one says crochet queen. All those goodies. So yeah, I'll probably add these to this bag. And even though it was virtual last year, I did get a bag last year. I think they had this one and then they had a tote bag this year. I didn't see a new bag, so I didn't get that. But, and you see it does, it's a backpack style. I think I might be too close. And then it does have this awesome zipper in the front. And yes, I also have my Maryland Sheep and Wool pen and a Maryland Sheep and Wool keychain. So yeah, these I had actually bought last year for the virtual show. So, besides the pens, I got this lovely bag. The name of the company is Mid Mitten Designs. Um, Midmittenknitter at gmail.com. She was really sweet. She stood up to show me she's almost my height and to tell me that she designed this for tall people like myself so you know that sold me the zipper is very cute little mittens um, and you see this fabric I absolutely love I'm gonna have to try to find some of this 
they had some balls of yarn that I really like because you know this is knit not that most people will be able to tell the difference but we know the difference right see this awesome cool zipper pocket and then on the inside it has these awesome pockets so pockets for your your notions your hooks your needles and then a bigger pocket for some other stuff so yes love this bag excellent project bag I'm sure I'll be taking this to sip and stitch nights and I only got a little yarn because I said if I saw some cotton, I would get some cotton. So these five skeins were six bucks. This is uh, mercenized cotton, 50 grams, 1.7 ounces, 102 yards. Um, and this company was What's this, William Unger and Company in Bridgeport, Connecticut. So it was a nice lady who was handwriting up her goodies and, you know, had a bunch of items she was clearancing out. And then I got this pack of 10, same thing, mercenized cotton. This pack of 10 was 12 bucks. Can't beat that. So I see some bags and some summer tops in my future. And outside of the Sheep and Wolf Festival. Word got out about a clearance at Michael's and Joann's. I didn't see anything at Michael's, but as soon as I heard about it, I went on Joann's. The Ogo Super Saver um, at my local Joann's online, it was $1.37. Um, it's not a skein, I guess it's a roll, the Ogo. But I just went ahead and grabbed a bunch and threw them in my cart and got the pickup they were $1.37 each and I was able to apply the 20% off but shh, don't tell nobody 20% off for pickup and store look at this so all together I believe I got 23 and I spent around $23 so I figure you know super saver for a dollar each can't beat that if I can get it open All right, I believe I have about six of this color. I'm um, looking for the name. Christmas, Noel, okay. I don't know why it didn't hit me as a Christmas color at first glance, but I got a handful of those. Uh, Cafe Latte, a nice neutral, this will definitely be great. I think I'm gonna do some Afro Puff keychains. And I have a request for a couple uh, loveys with the, you know, the doll loveys with the doll head. So these would be good for that. Pretty good skin tone for some of us. This is black. Gotta have black. Got a handful of those. I think I got four blacks. Maybe six of the cafe lattes. This Noel color. I believe I got one more. Yeah, I think I got four colors all together. This one is called Forest. That looks like Forest to me. So four to six of each of these. I think one of them I had ordered seven, but they said they only had six left in stock. So that's not what it said when I rung it up. But uh, yeah, so if they haven't cleaned out already, when I went in person to pick these up, I looked and I saw absolutely none in the store on the floor. So I'm pretty sure it was cleaned out pretty fast. As soon as I got the memo, I went running. So um, I went running online and I'm glad I did because if I'd waited till I could get in person, it would have been gone by the time I got to the store. So just sharing a little bit of my stash with y'all to um, keep you posted on what I got going on. So um, I will be posting this soon and be posting some more goodies, trying to get some more yarn out there. Definitely gonna share more of my creative thread and I'll be in touch. Take care, Creative Claire signing off.